Good morning, saints of God. I hope you're all doing well. Our scripture for this morning is taken from Philippians chapter 2, verse 10 to 11. And it says that the name of, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father in the name of Jesus. Let every knee begin to bow at the mention of the name of Jesus. Let every knee begin to bow. Let every tongue begin to confess of those in the heaven and of those on the earth. Brothers and sisters, let us begin to bow at the mention of the name of Jesus. Bowing is surrender to him. Bowing is giving reverence to him. Bowing is submitting to him. Bowing is to lift him up and say, God, my king, I surrender to you. So at the mention of the name of Jesus, let us begin to bow right now. And let us begin to surrender. Let us begin to worship him. Let us glorify him. Let us join the host of angels as we worship him right now in the name of Jesus. My God and my king, we bless you. Another worship scripture that I want us to look at is Psalm 1. We're reading from the verse 1 to the verse 3. And it says, All the joy of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand around the sinners, or join in with mockers. But their delight is in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted by the river banks and bearing fruit each season. Their leaves will ne never wither and they prosper in all that they do in the name of Jesus. But their delight is in the law of the Lord and they meditate upon it daily. And it says that they are like trees that are planted on the river banks, whose leaves will never wither in the name of Jesus. And they will prosper in all that they do. Beloved, may you be planted by the rivers of living waters. May you be planted by the rivers of living waters this morning. And may your leaves never wither. And may you prosper in season. But it says that your delight is in the Lord. Your delight has got to be in the Lord first. And you've got to be meditating on his word day and night. You've got to be meditating on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords day and night. And he says, then they are like trees that are planted by the rivers and by the banks of living waters and whose leaves will never wither and they will prosper in all that they do. That is my scripture for you this morning. It is our worship scripture. But like I said yesterday, for the next five days, we are going to be looking at names. And many of us have been giving names and that either has an impact on your destiny, that opens doors in your destiny, or that keeps you trapped in certain position. And we are going to be looking at names because names are very important and names are very significant. And it contains the destiny, the purpose, and the calling and the gifting of an individual. Because if you open Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 it says that she would have a son and you will call him Jesus because he will save the people from sin the name Jesus meaning that he will save his people from sin so when God brought was giving birth to Jesus and or when he was bringing Jesus he spoke and said that she would have a son and the name of that son will be Jesus because he will be saving his people from sin you also read in Matthew chapter 1 verse 23 it says that a virgin will, will be become pregnant and, and she would have a son and she will call him Emmanuel which means that God is with us and so names have meanings names carry your destiny names can carry certain significance over your life and names are very important it communicates the image of God it communicates a message of God and it communicates and it can establish the authority of a person and it is given to indicate new beginnings and sometimes names are given based on the emotions of the parents and so Sometimes names are given based on the resemblance of a person. We've got to be careful what names we are giving on to our children. You've got to be careful what names are you giving to your business? What names are you giving to your ministry? You've got to be careful what names do you bear and what are the significance of your name? This week we are going to be looking at names 
and we are going to be looking at certain names in the Bible that God had to change them. Also, by the end of the week, we will be looking at certain names that, that are not really your name, but people have turned your circumstance into a name. Like you've got the woman with the issue of blood, and the man at the gate called Beautiful. They were no longer calling their names. Their names have disappeared, and, and now their situation has become their names. And sometimes you carry a name that can only take you in, uh, as far as possible, and you get to a particular stage in life where God has got to change your name or you get to a place in life where your name has got to change and you need a name due to the seed that you carry and you need that name because of the, the promises that you carry you need that particular name because of the destiny that you carry and for some of us you need the name that you have or change your name and because of the covenant that you carry and names can open physical doors and there are certain families in the physical world and when you bear that name it opens setting doors and the minute you say that I am the son or the daughter of so and so and the minute you mention your name people would begin to ask you um, are you the son of a prime minister are you are you from the royal family where are you from um, are you the child of that politician are you the child of that famous doctor so names in the physical can open doors and um, that is just the same way that certain names are recognized in the realm of the spirit um, and it can begin to open spiritual doors um, I just want us to quickly turn our Bibles to Acts chapter 19, verse 13 to 16. Read with me Acts 19, verse 13 to 16. I'll just read it quickly and we will go into it. It says, a group of Jews were traveling from town to town, casting out evil spirits. They tried to use the name of the Lord Jesus in their incantations, saying, I command you in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. It's not... It's not the name of Jesus whom they are preaching, but they are trying to go through someone else. And I use the name of Jesus in which Paul preaches to come out. Seven sons of Sceva, a leading priest who was doing this. But one time when they tried it, the evil spirit replied, I know Jesus and I know Paul, but who are you? Then the men with the evil spirit leaped on them, overpowered them and attacked them with such violence that they fled from the house naked and battered. The evil spirit said, Jesus I know, Paul I know. Evil spirit responds to name. They know the name of Jesus because the word of God says that at the mention of the name of Jesus, everything shall bow. Everything on earth and in heaven will bow. So the spirit recognized, they said, we know the name Jesus and we know the name Paul. But who are you? Who are you? We don't recognize you in the realm of the spirit. And the Bible says that as they said this, they began to pounce on the men and they beat them. They battered them till these men ran out of the house naked because they tried to invoke a name that they had no connections with them. They tried to invoke a name that they had nothing with them. But the good thing is they recognize that names have power. Hence why they tried to bring in the name of Jesus and they brought in the name of Paul because they know that those two names were powerful names and superseded their names and but the problem they had is they had no relationship with the name and they did not know Jesus for themselves and and they were trying to abuse the name of Jesus and the name of Paul and but the spirit said and Jesus I know Paul I know but who are you and I don't even know your name and I don't recognize your name and the reason I'm telling you this morning about this because names are powerful I need you to understand that names evil spirit can hear names and evil spirit will hear names spiritual world and you have to carry a bear a name um, that is spiritually powerful and potent in the name of Jesus because names have power names have significance and names have meaning in the name of Jesus the names of a man can either promote or hinder them your name can either promote you or your name can hinder you the name that you come from in the physical realm um, we even know of setting names that people bear him um, and those names means nothing and um, those names are insignificant there are setting names that your family can give you um, and that name carries no weight and um, in the physical realm it carries no weight that is just how you can bear a name in the spiritual realm um, and it carries no weight and sometimes God will call a man and but before God begin to use the man and he would need to change your name we are going to delve into scripture from tomorrow and begin to see certain people and that God began to change their names and 
For some people, they bear two names and there were certain places when they entered, they had to use their second names because they were in a total different territory and they were in a different jurisdiction and they were in a total, a different area that they ne needed to use a different name. Names can place a limitation on your life or your destiny or your promise or your prophecy. Names have meanings that can be either powerful or detrimental to you. I pray over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone begin to pray with me. That Father, every name that I bear that is hindering my destiny, that continues to hinder my future. May you begin to expose it to me in the name of Jesus. Someone begin to pray. In the next 10 minutes, we are praying for our names. I don't know what name you bear. I don't know what name it's on you. But I pray that God will begin to reveal to you the essence of your name, the importance of your name, the relevance of your name. May God begin to expose to you the secret behind the name that you have been given. May God begin to reveal to you what that name means. Is that name taking you to the next phase of your life and or is that name about to, de to, to deny you from getting into that breakthrough and or is that name about to deny you from getting to the next level of your life and because there are setting names have got to change and before you can get to the next level beloved and setting names have got to change for you to make it into the next level and but I pray over you right now in the name of Jesus and that revelation is coming someone begin to pray him that father begin to reveal unto me him may you reveal unto me my name Cabo son begin to reveal unto me him the reason for my name and father the definition for my name and father the spiritual impact of my name and the spiritual consequence and connotation of my name and begin to reveal the name that I bear him what does that name mean in the name of Jesus and the titles that we bear what do they mean in the mighty name of Jesus who was I named after why was I given that name and what is the circumstance surrounding my name in the name of Jesus Kabosa in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, begin to speak to someone right now. My God, I pray that you will begin to speak to someone. I pray that the Holy Ghost will bring interpretation in the name of Jesus. Father, may you begin to explain the names that we bear in Jesus' name. The Bible said in Matthew 1, 23, that the Virgin Mary will be pregnant and she would have a son. And he will be called Emmanuel because Emmanuel means God is with us. Because God was coming from heaven and he was going to be with us. So Jesus had to have that name. His other name, according to Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, says, she will bear a son and you will call him Jesus because he will save his people from sin and I pray in the name of Jesus and that you will begin to get a revelation of your name and your name are you the called that name you are called because you are the great one and are you given that name that you are given because you are a deliverer have you been given a name that means that you are cursed and have you been given a name that means that you will be sick for the rest of your life and have you been given a name that is insignificant and have you been given that name that means troublemaker have you been given a name that means that you are you, you are cursed and have you been given a name um, that shuts doors the minute they hear it? Um, have you been given a name um, where people cannot even begin to, 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 to favor you? Um, I don't know what name you've been given, um, but I know that I'm praying with you this morning. I stand in prayer with you this week, um, and we are praying over the name that you bear. Um, whatever name that you bear, oh, in the name of Jesus. Father, may you reveal the significance of my name. Um, may you begin to reveal the significance and the purpose of my calling. Um, may you begin to reveal it unto me in the name of Jesus and someone begin to pray and that every negative connotation that is associated with my name and father deliver me from it in the name of Jesus and every negative connotation that is associated with your name and begin to be released from it in Jesus name and father minus me some of us carry certain family names but those family names will take you nowhere those family names are deadly those family names have a lot of negative connotation but I pray over you in the mighty name of Jesus that your name that you carry, you will not carry the evil spirit that is associated with the name. You will not carry the negativity that is associated with the name. You will not carry any attack that is associated with the name. Oh yes, any name that you bear that has limited you. I pray that God is removing it in the name of Jesus. For some of us, our name comes with restrictions. Our names come with limitation. Our name comes with setting things. But I'm praying over you that to 
today in the name of Jesus. Every name that you bear that is limiting you, let that name be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of us are carrying certain spiritual names. The Spirit of God is telling me that some of us carry spiritual names that we are not even aware of. And those spiritual names are fighting you. Some of us have a spiritual implications to your name. And you are being fought in the realm of the Spirit. Yes, in the physical, those names are opening doors. But in the realm of the Spirit, the same names have negative connotation, have demonic connotation. But I pray in the name of Jesus that every name that you bear that hinders you, every name that you bear that limits you, every name that you bear that restricts you, God is bringing you into revelation in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that all things have passed away and all things have become new. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Father, in the name of Jesus, I enter into a new season and I leave behind the names, Lord. I leave behind the titles that are not worthy of your praise. I leave behind every name that you have not given me. I leave behind every name that will not take me to the next season. I leave behind every name that restricts and limits me. I leave behind every name, God, that men have given unto me. I leave behind every spiritual name that has no significance, that has no relevance. It says, Jesus, I know Paul, I know him, but who are you? I pray in the name of Jesus. Somebody begin to pray that, Father, if you need to change my spiritual name, please begin to change it in the name of Jesus. Give me a spiritual name that has relevance. Give me a spiritual name that has relevance. And I hook with you in the mighty name of Jesus. I have a relationship with you. Because those men had no relationship with God. They had no connection to Jesus. They had no connection to Paul. They just observed Paul using the name of Jesus. And they thought we can use it. And someone this morning, you cannot just use the name of Jesus without accepting him as your Lord and personal Savior. You cannot use the name of Jesus without having a covenant relationship with him. You cannot use the name Jesus without being associated and being with him. So I pray over you this morning in the name of Jesus that you are coming into alignment with the word of God. You are coming into alignment with the will of God. You are coming into alignment with the purpose of God. And may God begin to give you a name that goes with your destiny. A name that goes with your calling. A name that goes with your purpose. A name that goes with what God has called you with your future in the name of Jesus. Every name that limits you may it be broken off your life every name that limits you may it be broken off your life brothers and sisters I beseech you by the mercies of God that if you haven't had children yet before you give a name to a child not just because you like the sound of a name not just because you like the spelling of a name but you will pray and intercede and say Father Lord what name would you have me name this child because we realize that names have power. We realize that names can open doors spiritually and physically. We know that names carries the destiny of a person. And I pray over you in the name of Jesus that the name that you bear will begin to open doors for you. The name that you bear will begin to take you to higher heights. The name that you bear will begin to take you to higher levels in the mighty name of Jesus. And every negative name that you bear is giving way right now. Your name is changed. Say, Father, change my name physically and change it spiritually. Remove every negative connotation. Every name that I've got that is not going to take me to the next season of my life. I come from under, I remove my neck from under the power and under the influence of that name in the name of Jesus. I move my head from under the, 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 the name, my family name that is limiting me. Some of us will physically have to change our names. You would have to physically change your name because God is, going, is about to give you a revelation about your name. God is about to speak to you about what your name is. And God is about to speak to you about your name and, and he will begin to do something. God will give you revelation. And it is God that will give man revelation. It is God that will tell you about the secret things. And it, will, it is God that will begin to expose certain things to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I just am a, a, a servant of God and I bring you his word. And I bring you his word 
prepared for the season and, and I leave the Holy Ghost to do the rest and Holy Ghost will begin to minister to you. He will begin to lift limitation and he will begin to lift all embargoes off your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the negativity associated with your name be removed from over your life and let the yokes that are associated with your name be removed from over your life and God is saying to me for some of us the names that you have and has placed setting bondage on you and the names that you have have placed you in setting bondage and setting traps and, and in setting challenging situation of life and because of the name that you bear you attract the wrong people because of the name that you bear you attract problems and because of the name that you you bear you attract sorrow because of the name that you bear you attract pain and because of the name that you you bear you got no favor because of the name that you bear and every negative things locate you and but I pray over you right now in the name of Jesus that heaven is about to change your name and the spirit of God himself is about to reveal to you about your name and, and your life is about to take a new turn and your destiny is about to take a new turn and your future is about to take a new turn in the mighty name of Jesus when your name change your circumstances change when your name change your situation changes when your name change your destiny changes everything that has held you bound and kept you locked in and kept you trapped in and will begin to give way because your name has changed I pray over you in the mighty name of Jesus that everything God has said concerning your destiny will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus brothers and sisters tomorrow I'm encouraging you to come on come on this prayer line tomorrow morning we are going to be looking at Abraham and Sarah God changed their name and he changed their names for a reason join me tomorrow at the same time like this uh, 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 video and also please share it with someone and be a blessing in jesus mighty name amen